If you are someone who wants to be receiving payments online, one of the platforms you can receive payments on is PayPal. But PayPal is not in every country. For instance, Ghana, Nigeria, and most of the African countries, we can have access to PayPal, but there's an alternative to it, which is Payoneer. So in this video, I'm going to take you through how you can create a Payoneer account and use it for the purpose you want to use PayPal for. This is a video I did way back with just my smartphone, but still, it's still relevant till today. That's why I want to share it with you guys, because for me, if something is not, it will not be helpful. Like I don't have to share it with you guys. So first of all, how can you use Payoneer? As I said, it's also just used like PayPal. But you see, as for paying your account, if you are someone who, let's say you have a property, someone have a property around your area and the person is renting the property, uh, like making it a short let, maybe it's giving out on daily basis or weekly basis. And mostly people come from outside. You can use pay your account to create Airbnb account. If you create an Airbnb account, you can link your Payoneer account to it so that anytime the people come and they pay to you, you can also pay to the owner and then you take some commissions. So this is one of the ways you can use Payoneer account. Aside that, if you're someone who is into freelancing, those of us who have been working online, we can also, we also use Payoneer account. And those who are into um, affiliate marketing and all that, you can also use Payoneer account. So, in this video, I'm going to take you through how you can create it step by step. And as I said, it's an old video, but still going to help you. So let's go right on my screen so that I explain step by step until everything becomes successful. So guys, give this video a like if you find it helpful, guys. I'll see you after the video. Get started. The first thing you need to do is to go to your Google browser. Now you type in Payoneer. And remember, it's P A Y O N E E R. That's Pioneer. So, you log in there. Uh, sorry, first of all, you click on the Pioneer. Then it will bring you here. So, over here, if you check the down here, it's showing you the number of brands Pioneer is working with. So, they are working with Fiverr, they are also working with um tabula they are also working with airbnb they are working with a lot of companies uh, like upwork and uh, a lot of companies so guys you can see that they are trusted and now if you sign up immediately you sign up you get 25 dollars just for free so that's it they are also with amazon ebay and so on so guys you can see that this platform is also trusted just like paypal all right, so guys, and you know that one thing is that PayPal is not, um, it's not legal or it's not available in most countries. So this Payoneer can be an alternative to the PayPal account. So let me show you how you can quickly do this. So first of all, you need to sign up. All right, so guys, it will bring you to this page. So on this page, you can choose whatever the reason why you are creating the pioneer account so at first the first they said freelancing or smb so maybe if you you want to be um, receiving money as a freelancer then you can choose the freelancer and then if you want to be an online seller you go ahead and choose online seller the next one if you want to be affiliate marketer that's the purpose you are creating it then you choose affiliate marketer maybe you want to be using it for rental and so on you click on that if you are doing it as individual you can also go ahead and click as individual but in most okay so in this case i will click as a freelancer so i'm going to click here all right so i click here as a freelancer so input your date of birth so if you want to input your date of birth they'll give you the calendar so you have to select the right calendar so i'm selecting my date of birth and then all right so guys that's it so the next thing to do is to click on next and there you go now you can see that this one they are not restricting you from creating account and this account is going to work for any country or in whichever country you are, you can use Pioneer account. So 
first of all, yeah, I'm in Ghana, so it's already there automatically. So I have to input my street address. So um, I'm going to say, um, community schools. Um, tema so coming to 12 tema then another optional one if you can add any other uh, street address you can do that so I have to select the city so selecting the city you just go to choose your city so I've chosen my city so I have to input my phone number here so so if you are not in Ghana and you are in any other country, you can click here to change your um, your code. So I'm in Ghana, so I'm just clicking here and I'm inputting my number. So all right, so I've, I'll click here where they say send code to get my verification code. So I'm waiting. All right, so I've gotten my verification code copied. So I'll just paste it right here. All right, so guys, after that. All right, so guys, you have to choose one of these questions. So after that, um, so the question I choose is what is the last name of your boyfriend or your girlfriend? So I will just select and choose Lydia. Well, the reason why they are giving you uh, questions like this is for the sake of maybe if you lose your account in the future, you can be able to reset it. So that's the reason why. So the next option is the ID details. So what type of ID would you like to use? So I'm using national ID. If you have any other ID, you can just go here and choose any other ID, whether it's driving license, passport. So I am losing my national ID. So that's it. So I have to input the ID number right here. So I'm inputting my ID number there. All right, so stop it, stop it with my eye bean. So the next thing to do, they will give you some alphabets here. You'll be given some alphabets here. So you have to check it well and input the same thing here so that your account will not be canceled. All right, so that's it. So now the alphabets are capital D, D another D in P so that's it so the next thing to do now is to I think yeah go through this and see if everything is okay I can see my password is still not correct so I'm going to take out the whole password and input another password All right, so let me scroll down and see. All right, so now the password is correct. So this place will show um, a color for me to proceed. So guys, that's it. They say you are almost done, but yeah, this all these places are not something that is difficult. So the next thing they ask is, uh, please add a bank account for withdrawals that belongs to you or your company. So you have to add your bank account now. It's very simple. This one, whether um, you just have to go ahead and do that. And you know, in most countries, if you are doing it on PayPal, it's very difficult to do. But over here, it's just simple as ABCD. So let's go. So, so yeah. And the currency you would like to um, take the money on. So you can go here. We have, so I can choose to receive my money in Ghana cities. I can choose to receive my money in the euros. 
and then whether it's um, USD. So if you're in Nigeria and other countries, you see your currency here. All right. So I mean, I, I would like to receive my payment in the US dollar account. You can also change your currency to your local currency. All right. So the next thing to do is to input your bank name. So for me, I bank with GT and then my name, the name of my account is already here. So when I was creating the account, they gave me the name already. So here's my account name. All right. So, okay. One secret you have to know is that the name of your GT bank account should be equivalent to your name on the pioneer account for if not maybe there'll be some misunderstanding so for, for whatsoever reason you would like to change your name i will advise that the name on your id and your bank account should be the same name you used to create your pioneer account all right so guys so the next thing to do is to input your bank account number just input my bank account right here so the next thing to send is your is your swift your swift or your bic so that one is something you request from your bank so if you don't know your bank swift or your um, bic then you would have to contact your bank so that they can give you that so in case for my own all right, so in this case, I have my own already. So what I'm going to do is to just put it here. So I'm going to put it here. So if you don't have yours, you can contact your bank or you can email them or just find ways and means to at least um, contact one of, the, uh, one of the employees in the bank and they will give it to you. So that's it. So the next thing to do is to agree to the attempts and conditions agree to their privacy policies as well uh, sorry their prices and fees as well so that's it so you just go ahead and click on submit all right so that's it guys so congratulations um your pioneer account application has been submitted successfully and is now being reviewed want a pioneer card learn how to and a whole lot of things on the and a whole lot of stuff so the next thing they are going to do is that they will send you an email so they'll send you an email so once you go to your email and then um approve or verify that truly truly you are the one creating the account so right now I'm going to my email to see what they've sent me. So All right, so guys, here is the email. So I'll just click here and say verify email. All right, so thank you. Your success, you successfully verified your email. So that's it. So you have to go back to your Pioneer account and there you go. So your account is being successfully created. All right, so guys, this time around, if you come here, you are not going to click on register again. The next thing, the first thing to do because you've registered already, you just go on sign in. Now, the question is how can you receive payment on using the Pioneer account? So now for a specific ID will be given to you. So you will just input the ID right there. So guys, I believe this video has been helpful to you. As I said, it was an old video, but I believe it has helped you. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you can enjoy more videos from me.
Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.